from the Roxy with host Leslie Uggams, plus from New York Hot Tracks, Carlos De Jesus, and celebrity judges including Broadway's Anita Morris, football grade Herschel Walker, and all my children's Debbie Morgan and Darnell Williams. And now, Leslie Uggams. Hi everyone and welcome to the finals of the Big Break Dance Contest and tonight you're going to see some of the best of the break dancers. The groups who made it to the top out of more than 600 contestants and this is the night that our finalists have been waiting for. They packed the Roxy over three Sundays to compete for the perfect prize, $2,500 in cash, an appearance on New York Hot Tracks and a role in the new feature film Beach Street. Our judges will have a tough time picking the winner but before we get started, we're going to talk to our master of ceremonies from WKTU, Carlos de Jesus, who knows all about breakdancing. A little bit. Uh, Leslie, breakdancing is a little bit like jazz, where uh, you improvise around some basic moves, and you don't really step out in solo. You don't step out in front unless you really, really know what you're doing. I can relate to that. I know. Let's watch some of it. The hip, the hip, the hip, the hip, hip, you don't stop. Rock it out, baby, rubber to the boogity bang, bang, the boogie to the boogie to beat. Now what you hear is not a test, I'm rapping to the beat. And me, the groove, and my friends are gonna try to move your feet. Oh, with a hip, the hip, to the hip, and a hip, 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 hop, you don't stop. The rocker to the bang, bang, boogie, say up, jump the boogie to the rhythm of the boogie to beat. It started in the Bronx back in 1975. Violent street gangs were on their way out because too many kids were either dead or in jail. A teenager named Africa Bambada started the Zulu Nation at the Bronx River Projects. It was a new type of gang which focused in on music and dance. Neighborhood boys were called crews and they challenged each other in wild acrobatic feats called break dancing. The first youth culture since the 60s put a premium on individual imagination, and the hip-hop generation was born. If you live or work in New York City, you may recognize a street art form that they call hip-hop. It's rapping. The staccato-like poetry that screams out of portable radios known as boxes. It's graffiti on clothes, on murals, and unfortunately the subway. And it's the breakdance where kids spin round and round like a top on a piece of a cardboard. It's really something else, isn't it? What a body can actually do, it's amazing. Is this a new kind of art form? Or? I wish I could be so loose. Today, Africa Bambada still lives in the Bronx. He's an international recording star, a role model to thousands of city youngsters. It's something to release their pressure, you know, they, instead of them going out there fighting, they could go out there and break dance against different other groups. The whole culture, which is called hip hop, started in the West Bronx by a DJ by the name of Cool DJ Hurt. Then it came across to the South and Southeast Bronx, drew myself, Africa Bambada. Now it has gone from the Bronx to Manhattan, all across America is now internationally known hip hop. Hip hop is now very hip. Since the movie Flashdance, breakdancing has popped up in commercials, music videos, nightclubs, and all over the media. For many of these kids, breakdancing is a dream. It's a way out of the streets. Like sports, it's a way to be somebody. My dream is for me to be success. To go to Hollywood, see all the movie stars, be right. chilling with them. You know, just the way they chill. For the chosen few, Harry Belafonte's new movie about the Bronx called Beat Street may make that dream come true. Hollywood has invaded their community. Hollywood has come to them and said that we want what you've got. like breakdancing is just plain family entertainment. We'll be back in a moment for some highlights of the preliminaries. Baby Swipes, The Float, Windmills, and Electric Boogie, next. That's 
backstage jitters, last minute warm ups, and enough energy to light up Times Square. That's what it was like here at the Roxy for the preliminaries of the big break dance contest. The Roxy is a famous roller disco, but it's also the premier break dance club in New York. It has a floor that seems as big as a football field. Just enough space for a contest that has attracted dancers and fans from all five boroughs, Long Island and New Jersey. Everyone had a chance to participate by sending a postcard to WKTU-FM, the sponsors of the contest. Postcards were picked by random drawing. The contestants danced for up to three minutes and were judged on costume, originality, and performance. And that was the tough one. You try figuring out which of these windmills and backspins is the best. Oh, 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 do it, do it, do it. Or how about the hand glide? The names of the groups were almost as original as their moves. Body Mechanics, General Electric, the Dynamic Rockatron, and my favorite name of all, Nasty with Rock. But the best part for judges and fans alike was the sheer variety of the dancing. There was plenty of traditional break dancing, an athletic style that usually happens on the ground. An expert electric boogie, a style that makes a dancer look like a character straight out of science fiction or your favorite computer game. Give it a couple of more years and break dancing may be an Olympic event. Now there's a group of style. The dynamic breakers. Let's go to Carlos and find out how they put their routines together. Well, Leslie, the dynamic breakers are amongst the front runners in this contest. They want to take break dancing to greater heights, and they just may be the group to do it. See, that's about castaway. You get focused, eh? As soon as you land, look. You land, boom, turn. A good breaker doesn't just happen. It takes a lot of talent and hard work to get there. Like the dynamic breakers, Airborne, Kano, Spider, Deuce, and Flip are what they call fully down. In other words, they've mastered the moves, and they're proud of it. What makes us special from any other group is that we all specialize in one, one thing. Like, each of us have a, a special thing to do. So our specialty in the group is uh, flexibility move. That's why I got my name, Spider. My friends call me Airborne. The reason for that is because my special talent as a group is that I mix gymnastics into break dancing. So everything, have, most of my tricks are done in the air and, and back down into the ground. We accepted Deuce into the crew because we thought we needed something spectacular. Like, if we were to get any other normal breaker, he would just do, like, something close to what I do. But it would look the same. Now, Deuce over here, he spins on his head. He spins on his head constantly, like a top. That makes him special, and we like special talent in our group. This is Fonzie's Pizzeria in Jamaica, Queens, where just about any day after school, you could find the Dynamic Breakers just chilling out. I danced for a reason. At first, I started dancing because I really thought this would, this would show that I'm, I can get popular and everything and all that. But I, I didn't really want that, but it, it just happened. So the, the reason why I really, I really want to dance now is to cross over from hip hop into pop culture. This uh, a dance full of excitement that brings people up to their most extreme joy. It may be a lot of fun, but it's a dance with difficult steps and stylized moves. Up rock is, <clears throat> is sort of like fighting with another person, but not actually touching. It's very important in breaking, where you have to do full work on top and on bottom. Now he's doing bottom full work. Now he's into a, a basic move called baby swipes. Then the actual moves float. Then at the end, he'll do a freeze, get up, leave the same way he entered. Wow. Electric boogie consists of a lot of different styles. Like this is called waves, like that, when you move your body like this, or you could tick like this. Boom, boom, boom. That's called ticking. Or you could do the robot like this. Our dream is like to form a, like a corporation, a dance school. You know, we would like 
for this dance to keep going on to the future, like jazz, ballet, you know, that sort of thing keeps going, going for years and years, you know. Everyone at the preliminaries had the style of the dynamic breakers, but you gotta hand it to the folks who go it alone. Spin on your back and spin on your knees. Spin on your hands and then freeze. Electric boogie. Better luck next time, guys. Nice try. Up next, the best of the breakers. Hey, be there or be square. I can't believe I said that. But before we meet them, let's meet our judges. Our first judge, former New York Knickerbocker. What do you say, everybody? Earl of Pearl Monroe. <laughs> our next lady, she plays Angela Baxter on All My Children. And you know the dude. Jesse Hubbard, <laughs> Debbie Morgan, and Darnell Williams. And the sexy Italian next to them, Sal Abatiello, the owner of Disco Fever, the club where rapping and breaking all started. An Emmy Award winning investigative reporter and an anchor person at WABC TV, John Johnson. All right. The sexy lady right next to John is Anita Morris. She knocked him dead in the Broadway play Nine. Lester Wilson choreographed Saturday Night Fever. Right now he's working out some fresh steps for the new breakdancing movie, Beat Street. And right next to him, real quiet dude, but very, very talented. He put out that record, you're a good girl. He sings it much better, all right? Lil Old Thomas for the New Jersey Generals. He won the Heisman Trophy. This dude is bad, Herschel Walker. And now the other stars of the show, the finalists. There were 16 groups all together, selected over the preliminary weeks. And we're going to show you the top seven. And now, another group from Manhattan, the Magnificent Force. <laughs>
when we watch you play football, I mean, the, you're like a dancer. You move so beautifully. How can you compare this break dancing? Because it's so athletic. Well, I don't think there's any comparison because I think break dancing is uh, the ultimate. I think break dancing takes a lot of creativity, and I think the guys here possess that tonight. Do you think there's an age limit of how you can move your body like that? I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> Robert Steele and Jamil Brown, they're known as the Fantastic Duo. Larry Watson and Jason Twig. the moment we've been waiting for so don't go away okay don't go away okay Herschel now it's your turn to call the play after Burger King came to 9th Street no one could say no to flame broiling well Bobby had to have one and little would let to a sizzling flame broil while cause nothing else would do they love that juicy goodness that flavor all locked in no one could say no no one could say no no one could say no to flame broil man aren't you hungry hungry oh burn the chain now well this is the moment we've all been waiting for right yeah. and are you ready now folks i don't know what i'm talking about here we go all right uh the uh why don't you do it again? okay Number eight, they're Robert Steele and Camille Brown. 